thought I'd give you guys a little pull, but not really on this road. Way too much traffic. Anyways, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel, and uh, thanks for tuning in for another video. Uh, the previous video that I made covering the 99 to uh, 2004 uh, era of the New Edge Mustang, or just, I mean, well, the Mustang itself being the, the New Edge. Ford was the 94 
headlights that I had. So I bought this for like 50 bucks from them. And then I bought a uh, X bike because the, when I bought the car, it had a missing catalytic converter on the passenger side. So um, some people that I talked to that I became friends with, they're like, well, just cut it off, put it off road, uh, you know, like X bike or whatever on it. So I bought one from like either Jex or Summit for like a little over $100. Uh, I picked up some Flowmaster 40s from the junkyard that, are, that was local to me for like another $40 or maybe a little less than that. I just, when I got the Mustang, I started meeting like all these, you know, just different people and cool people and stuff like that. So like I was getting like deals left and right and I thought this car was the coolest thing ever. Um, then I ended up buying like a Cobra hood for it, the 96, 98 Cobra hood. Um, but I ended up selling it after the car. Uh, basically the transmission um, wasn't like in the best shape itself. Uh, it's the synchronizer started failing in it and um, what it was the ball joint or something snapped on it one night it was like super cold and the ball joint had started like had been making noise or whatever almost like the suspension in this this is all race suspension um, but it's, it started making noise and it just one one night I was leaving uh, like a party or something not even like a party it was just like kind of like a get together in a front apartment and it, it like the ball joint snapped so I had to get it towed to my house and um, I was just kind of fed up with it. And then I sold it for I think like $1,000. And then I ended up like three months later, four months later buying the new edge that we I'm currently sitting in. So I know I got a little off tangent about that, but uh, I know it was a cool little backstory I thought. But I feel like people overlook, that's what this video is about, overlooking and don't really appreciate the kind of the 94 to, uh, 94 to uh, 2004 Mustangs. I know the 94 to 98 get a lot of hate because of the a lot of people don't like the rounder body style and a lot of people go to like go more towards the new edge. It's almost like the S197 and then when the S550 out uh, S550 came out, a lot more people flocked to the S550, which I can understand. But I really do love the S197, the Coyote, uh, the 11 to 14 to be uh, particular with uh, those years, and the 11 to 12 are really really good, done upright, the taillights and all that. Um, and I do love an S550, and I eventually will own one soon on this channel. That's that's a goal that I've been thinking about. Uh, I'll post later. But I just like the aftermarket world for the the 94 to 04. I feel like it's so overlooked. I remember when uh, Robos, like for example, Robos wheels came out. That was like the big thing. I've mentioned it before. Uh, I got my set. I was like one of the first people to have a set. I think uh, I bought the silver ones that are currently in the car, and then I also had a black chrome set. And they would, uh, everybody like Mustang Week would park together and they would be called Brovos and all that, like Terminator, Terminator, like how Cobras just park together. It was almost like that. Uh, but really, since Robos, there hasn't been really any uh, aftermarket company that's kind of like taken storm with the New Edge or with the 94 to 90, or yeah, the 94 to 98 even also. And that's just from what I've seen. I, don't, I could be wrong, but I feel like, you know, everything has been done for it in a way. And then it's just like, since everything like has been done, I guess considered to be done uh, with the aftermarket world, everybody's kind of like, you know, the S550 is a new thing. The S650 just came out. So all the aftermarket companies are just gonna focus on those cars. And nobody really focuses on the uh, 94 to 04 Mustang. And uh, I think that really sucks because like I said, this like this year, this body style, this car holds such a, you know, huge thing in my heart, like a place in my heart because it's when I was a kid, you know, you'd go to the Motor Trend magazine or whatever it was, you find like the Cobra R, the cover when the Cobra R came out, it was on the cover of like all the magazine, all the auto magazines. And I, I remember as a kid, like seeing the little toys of them and just seeing the car and be like, holy shit, that's like the coolest car. That's what I want. So when I had this car, I went out and bought the hood, the Cobra R hood. And I've had multiple of them, one by Boss Inc. and Cervini's. Uh, and now we have the True Fiber hood. But I feel like just people kind of forgotten. And then uh, I remember when the 4.6 came out, the 96 to 98, you know, it really didn't make much of a horsepower difference. And then when the 99 came out, they had like the PI heads and all that. And everybody was like really super hype about that. And I remember when I bought this, everybody was like, oh yeah. Uh, Cause I had the 96 or the 97 V6 and then it didn't have the badges on it. So people would be like, oh, is it a GT? Uh, you know, cause it sounds so, like, it kind of sounded like a V8 almost, but it wasn't, you know. But they're like, oh, is this the, you know, the 4.6? I was like, no. And they're like, oh, and then that sucks. And then when I had this one, they're like, oh, so you got the better 4.6. And I didn't know what that meant. And they're like, this one has, you know, like 260 or 70 horsepower. It makes over 300 torque or something like that. You got the better version of the 4.6. And when you go and look for a 4.6 engine, you're always looking for the, you know, was it the 99 to 04s? You don't want the 96, 98 because they, you know, they're low rated in horsepower. You want the ones with the PI heads and the PI intake and all that. 
one even holds its value a lot. And a lot of people just, you know, if you're looking for a new edge and you're like, oh, I've got some money to spend, what new edge should I get? It's either going to be the Mach 1 or a definitely 0304 Cobra, just depending on what you, uh, I guess, want to get out of it. But, um, you know, like I said, it's just, I feel like it's overlooked. And, but there's just so, so much cool stuff that with even the factory parts that you can do with uh, kind of a, like, modding, I guess, like a 99 to 04, or not so much in the 94 to 98 in a way, um, but I do like the 94 to 95 taillights, uh, the best, the ones that go like this, instead of going like this, the horizontal vertical, you know, you know what I'm saying, um, and I, I've seen some really super clean, uh, 94 to 98s, and I felt like they're really slept on, uh, especially Mustang Week, it really made me remember and kind of changed my tune a little bit about those cars, and I, you know, I would own one because they're basically essentially the same car as this. Just, you know, this has a better facelift and stuff like that, in my opinion. I still like these over the 94 to 98, but there's some super clean ones. They were swapped, some more original, um, and you can change interiors and stuff like that. But the one thing I will say, then I think it was the 95, the white ones that came with the red interior, the peanut butter, or whatever it was, horrible. I can definitely understand why people hated that one, stayed away from that one. Um, but yeah, I just, I feel like the, uh, I'm going to wrap this video up because it's, it's getting kind of long and, uh, to wrap it up, uh, the 94 to 98 are definitely slept on. There's a lot you can still do with it and make them look super good and super clean. And I would own one because I've owned one, you know, before and I would kind of, you know, I would want like a super clean one. Now it's not a car on my bucket list, but if I had the essential money to like, you know, I had to say add S550 and all that, and I was just looking for a clean you know, 94 to 95 50 or just like a 96 to 98 Cobra or something like that, I would definitely buy one. Um, the 99 to 04, you know, there's just so much you can do with them. Like I said, with the factory parts, you can put bullet sails or, you know, Cobra side skirts and stuff like that. You can just swap stuff over from like the 99 Cobra bumper, 03, like kind of like a my car is, you know, if you haven't seen, if you're new to the channel and haven't seen what my car looks like, just scroll through the videos and you'll see how I kind of custom, like I got the 03 Mach 1 seats behind me, uh, rear seats, and then I have, you know, just racing Brom seats. I have the Mach 1 face cluster overlay, and then I have a 99 Cobra front bumper, and then the rear is an 03 deck lid and uh, spoiler out of off a Terminator, and the rear bumper is also a Cobra. So, and then I have the, um, I think it's the bullet sails or whatever, sail panels, or real, rear sails, as I should say. So, I feel like there's just so much you can do, but I wish the aftermarket world, I wish like two or three companies would just kind of like, like wheels, maybe some exterior parts, kind of like RTR does, uh, like Vaughn does for, um, you know, the newer Mustangs. I wish like something would happen, like with, with like a company would make some cool hoods or bumpers and wheels and stuff like that, it, you know, appearance mods for these cars. I think that would be super cool because you really already have like, you know, headers and exhaust and all that. But w one thing I will say, the 4.6 actually do, even though they're kind of slow, they do sound really, really damn good. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I know I rambled on. I just felt like I, you know, I read about this stuff in like some comments and I was like, oh, I should make a video on that because I feel like that's so overlooked. So even though the darker ages of these plastic cheap stuff that have Ford Explorer switches and all that, um, these cars are definitely overlooked. And like I said, I appreciate them. So if you own one, definitely appreciate it. And you're like one of the few left that have maybe a clean one. I don't know. There you go. Hope a little exhaust note. To end this video helped you guys. Kind of boring, but whatever. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.